some noise over there, by the way. Well, you're already making noise. You're so. making noise you're already, right now? Hey, Lisa. Hey, Lisa. How does the hey. other camera stuff go? Are we really live right now? Um, yep. Are we really live? live? We are live. Oh, live. Boy, shit. You. You're, hey, you guys. I said, I said live. Wow, you guys were all talking, so I didn't know. That was Frankie's fault. Well. He started that off. And then I never got a notification, so I'm like, are you sure we're live? Oh, oh we you. are, okay. <laughs> all right, viewer discretion advised, guys. We will be talking about the Church of Satan today. <laughs> um, so we were just warning you that if you are super religious or not very open-minded, then I would probably not watch unless you want to get in debate. If you want to get in debate, that's fine. We can do it. I'm just warning you that we're going to get nasty. <laughs> or I'm going to get nasty. She may not. Speaking I have no of, filter. Well, I have no filter at all. We'll also be promoting uh, these new energy drinks for gentlemen clubs. It's called Some Pussy. <laughs> and um, I'm really curious what it tastes like. I know. Can we? Where's this janky? I don't know. It's okay. taking forever. <laughs> uh, Damn, it doesn't go lower. Yeah, so there's some, some pussy on the table. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't excited about the name. I think um, it's hilarious. I think it's funny that we're girls and we're promoting it. It's like pimping, but that's not. Are we pimps now? <laughs> we're pimping on energy drinks. You guys don't have pimp cups, right? Okay, so. <laughs> we will in a second. <laughs> so, fun fact we actually both made note cards for this to show our dedication to the Satanic Bible. Unbeknownst to one another. <laughs> and I even brought my Satanic Bible, which is the actual one by Anton. San Sanador, San Sanador, Love, um, and it's pretty cool. I don't know if you could tell, like in the thing, but it's it looks black, but when you put it in the light, it's actually like a, a magenta color. red. It's so cool. That dude's a nerd. Who's a nerd? Uh, he is. Yeah. I love nerds. So, all right, what are we drinking? Beef eater. Beef eater. Huh? She can't have that. Oh, is it? Oh, it's got it in there already. Oh, it's so pink. Mm. I'm not much of a pink person, but. I don't like pink, but it's, you know what? I like this shade. It feels it's a cute. little more purpley as you turn for the show. Mm, I know. It compliments your pussy on the table. Actually, this pussy don't taste too bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm so dead already. <laughs> you guys aren't having me back on next week, are you? <laughs> you are gone. Get out of here with that terribleness. No, I love it. Alright, I'm searching for a new co-host, guys. <laughs> Uh, uh, Tanner and Josh so are already watching, saying hello. That's pretty good. Hi, I Josh. Like Hi, Tanner. Hey, Josh and Tanner. Hmm. Um. <laughs> I think it's pretty good. Yeah. What yeah. is the flavor supposed to be, though? It says think pink. Drink pink. I don't know. <laughs> it, I'm, Chemical? It's, it's just good. <laughs> Chemical flavor, I guess. Oh, it's actually really good. I really like it. Honestly, I don't really like sugary energy drinks. I wait for the, the zero sugar ones. Have you tried them yet? I had one. It was good. With the, have you tried it with the gin? No, I've not tried it with gin. It's pretty <laughs> tasty. <laughs> All right. Is Lisa? I don't have cooties, cooties anymore. It's okay. <laughs> that actually is pretty dang good with that. Yeah, I like wow. it. Oh, wow. That's, that's that is good. Huh? I think I told you about this drink before, right? Thank I'm you, just, Frankie. Yeah, I just haven't had it yet. I just and figured, thank you. No, I'm not gonna, I don't know how yeah. to put this on. De, the de, I think deja vu, you said? Yes. Are we allowed to say that? Deja vu? Hustler um, Entertainment. Oh, Hustler. Um, but well, they're both companies. It's a parent company. Oh, okay. Um, shout out to our, our buddies over there. Appreciate your hard work. I might be looking for a new job soon. <laughs> she might want to pose on a can. <laughs> sure, that, that's what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, Frank missed the name. If you guys want to let him know again. Who, what? Frank missed the name. Uh, if you guys would let him know. Some what pussy. That's what we're drinking. But it's... It's, it's even spelled so cute. Like I know, S U M. Like, I don't know if it's you can like say that, tro but. it's like earlier, like Tropic Thunder. You know, booty sweat juice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure this tastes way better. <laughs> booty, booty sweat, sweat juice. versus some pussy. Oh, I don't want that. I don't want that uh, taste testing. I don't want a blind taste testing. <laughs> I'm good. All right. Um, but they did so much research on this topic that. You know, you guys don't deserve to hear it all right now. You need to go. You, you need, need to, to watch, watch our Saturday. video on Saturday yeah. that goes into full on depth and detail, which really probably won't even cover all of it either. There's just so much about the Satanic Church and mm -hmm. the Satanic Bible that probably will take a couple episodes. Do you want to hit it with a two parter at least? We could make it we a two parter. We might have to. I'm I cool mean, with that. we could stir, stick with like the basic essentials of the, the Church of Satan 
and then, and later get then into maybe, go into further into like the maybe the Bible part of it because there is an actual satanic Bible, and yeah. unlike what people think, is the satanic the Church of Satan is not about worshiping the devil, it's about worshiping worship yourself. yourself. Yeah, you are your own god, and you you are number one. You come before everyone Hell yeah. else. I come before anybody else, guys. And it it kind of makes sense in a way because it, it you know it's like I tell some people you know if you're not you know if you don't take care of yourself, what good are you to others? Mm-hmm. So you always need to take care of yourself first before you're good to anybody else. I, I mean, can, I don't know if that's, you know, all what they're trying to say, but I mean. You know, as a libertarian capitalist, I can definitely see that being a good thing. If everyone took care of themselves first, then there's a lot less problems to worry about. And then depending on how you're feeling later on, you can help those, you know, who aren't doing so well. Um, well which is a good thing to do. Which is one of their things, is, though. Like, much. if you go into it, they're all about, you know, like, not putting down others, not hurting others, not doing anything to anybody unless they have wronged you. Yeah. Then and it's that's an, one of their biggest views. Then like, it's an eye for an eye kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, it's like, it's like, well, if they screw you over, you can screw them over. But if they didn't do anything to you, don't do anything to them. Yeah. And so that's what a lot of people don't understand is, like, it's not about, you know, let's go have a seance in the woods and try to worship the devil and what? bring him up. It's not about that. It really isn't. Well, then what am I doing here? <laughs> um, got fun my... fact, he's actually religious. So I, I had think, my are, horns are all ready you guys go. religious in here? Nope. You're not. Um, Tanner says he's a little hesitant about coming to California now. I don't know if he scared him off. <laughs> Tanner, oh, I'm sorry, Tanner. Tanner, we have the most cults and hate groups in the country. We do. I wouldn't come to California at all. <laughs> but I'm already here. Also, Brixton Church is watching. Oh, hey. Hi. Hey, how you doing? I don't know who that is, but hi. I'm glad you're watching. Um, I would like to eventually get into it because there, if you watch a lot of stuff, how they sit there and they say that Satan worshipers... You know, they do sacrifices, they're abusive, they do this mm-hmm. and that. But if you actually talk to Satanists, they say, no, we don't do that stuff. That's not in our practice. So then mm-hmm. what is it that people are practicing that does require satanic, quote unquote, what they call That's satanic true, yeah. ritual? So I would kind of get a little bit in, late, maybe later on, the difference between the two. If mm. there really is a difference or if people are just, or I'll talk. Okay. Yeah, it's just a hysteria or people trying to to down that religion to make their seem better or however. That's definitely a good point. That, yeah, I like that it's like because the difference it's be- true. Between like between extremists and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Hmm. Josh uh, says it re- okay, relates to Confucianism, the uh, philosophy that is, and mm-hmm. Tanner also says that he is atheist. atheist. Oh, okay. That out. So yeah, that's well, that's the thing with with Satan is that they're atheists. They don't believe in anything at all. Like they don't believe there's a god. They don't believe there is like Buddha. Like they don't believe there's a devil. They don't believe in any of that. Right. They believe that you know everybody needs to be their own self. Like they don't need to look towards somebody to try to push them in the right direction. They right. need to push themselves to the right direction and what they believe in and how they're going to go about treating others. Right. That's kind of ironic because Anton Lavey, one of his big mentors, was Aleister Crowley. Uh, Alistair yes, Crowley but is a chaos magician. Hang on, hang on. Hang a, on, he's so in my note cards. To be a chaos magician, it's not that you don't believe well, in anything, it's that you believe in it when it's convenient. The thing for with your him is that he took the, the principal practice of Crowley and thought it needed to be less spiritual and more practical. So. Yeah, that's more chaos so, magic. Yeah, yeah, so he, he was. I mean, they do spells and, like. Same as well, at least he did. Like LeVay even like put a spell on somebody and that's how um Jane, Jane Mansfield. Mansfield ended up dying. He put a curse on her husband. On the whoever the driver was it her husband or it was just her the husband. driver? It was her husband. And yeah, have you ever seen Law and Order SVU? Yeah. Mariska Hattie. Yeah, that's her that's mom. her daughter. Yeah. yeah. She yeah. was in the car when that happened with her two other siblings. Uh huh. And yeah. nothing happened to them. It was that, just that, I was gonna say that explains why she looks that way. Yeah, no, yeah. she does look like her mother. She I does. love Jean Mansfield. She is gorgeous. And I'm oh so sad God. that she was decapitated. She was an actress back in like the the fifties, sixties. Around the same time as on her daughter's SVU. The SVU. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah. I don't know my prime time enough. Um, it's just because I love Jean's I, Man, yeah, Jean and I Mansfield. love SVU too. Yeah. So, <laughs> no, like both of them. So. No, I'm going to have to catch up. Thank yeah. You. yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, so that was his thing. Like, he, you know, they did, you know, spells and stuff like that, but it wasn't anything like a, oh, I'm going to worship the devil and, you know, conjure a spell to bring him back. Like, it wasn't, it wasn't anything like that. Like, yeah. it was more of a, like, if you're going to wrong somebody, because he believed that, you know, Jane's Mansfield's husband had been wronging her, and so that's why he felt the need to put a curse on him. And ended up backfiring, and 
she was the one that died. So he's a bad well, I think she, magician. Wasn't she even warned she was, too? Yeah, not, she, like, he don't. even said, he said, stay away from him, you know, don't go with him, blah, blah, blah. And so, I mean, she it, did anyway. She did anyways. That's probably, you know, why it happened the way it did, but I mean. Uh, nah, that's his fault. He cast a spell. He didn't do it right. Yeah. Uh, if your intent isn't strong enough, you're going to mess the whole world up. But what if he switched it because she didn't listen to him? What if he's like, well, what if he said, like, fuck you, you didn't listen to me. Now you're going to be the one to die. So so because she didn't listen, she died. That doesn't sound very, uh, (laughs) well, I mean, uh, eye for an eye. That sounds more like words for a soul. Well, Well, he did warn her, number one. He did warn her. He did warn her, and he did, you know, when you put a spell on somebody like that, it takes a little bit of time. So what happens within a certain amount of time that you're expecting it to happen and he was trying to tell her like just don't even go over there just to kind of mm. keep her safe but she was just like whatever I'm gonna do what I want yeah but what was the curse like what did he do it was a death that? curse like it was a like she thought he was cheating on her or something like that and he was and she was upset and she went to uh, Anton LaVey and was just mm-hmm. like you know I want to do something about this you know I'm pretty sure he's cheating this and that and he's like okay so it was just death by magic Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. You, but it, you it was would be whole... surprised. That happens twice a day, Max. <laughs> yeah. In this city alone. Oh my God. You have a pretty screwed up city. Pinchy brujos. Okay. So as we're going, you know, what are some of your guys' like religious views? Like, are I know that Tanner had said he's an atheist, uh, but if you're an atheist, are you a Satanist or are you just nothing at all. He says he does believe in hell and Satan. Well, okay, death and the Grim Reaper. You're not an atheist then. <laughs> so would that make That's you an agnostic? Yeah, you're not tell an, an agnostic are. means that you, you believe, believe that things are, that you believe that everything exists, but you don't follow one practice. Hmm. So it's like you do believe that there's God, you believe there's a hell. A there's Satan, something out there. You're just not sure what it is. Yeah, you just don't follow in any of it. Yeah. So yeah. Josh says that he's Christian. I'm sorry, Josh. Thank you, Josh. Proud of you. No judgment on anybody. Yeah, no, no, no. I don't, I don't judge anybody for their views. It's just when they start to pressure it onto others and, you know, banter other people for it. That's when I right. start to get, like, frustrated about it. Like, my family, part of my family grew up, I hope none of my family is watching. <laughs> part of my family grew up Pentecostal, which is a very strict Christian. Okay, it's the long skirts, the no cutting hair, really long curly permed hair, no makeup, no going out anywhere, you long know. dresses. Yeah, like kind of like no ankle showing, like. Oh, heaven forbid. Yeah, like they, my family grew up very, very religious like that, and it wasn't until my grandmother passed away that everybody kind of like slowly, kind of like stared away from it. And so, very recently, in the last couple of years, my aunt was probably like the last one from my immediate family that actually like stopped. So they also go to, you know, a Christian church or whatever, but they stop with the whole strict being told what to do and how to live your life. And that's something I don't like about religion is that nobody should tell you how to live your life. Right. Nobody. Nobody no. should say that you can't go to the movies or you can't go out on Sundays. Like like Mormons, they can't do anything on Sundays except for go to church. Yeah. Um, that's it. And so, like, I feel like nobody should be able to set a rule on your life. Like, I don't know. I think we all have to You need to, to be yourself. You need to be your own... God. And that's part of, and that is Satanism. Yeah, that is Satanism, is you know, taking care of yourself first and then helping others if you but can. But aren't you lis- listening to someone else's words then by just picking up that Bible and well, then saying, okay, I'm going to live my life, life this way. That I person's mean, telling me how to live. But the thing with this is that it doesn't actually tell you, like, there is a, there is a set of satanic rules. There is. Okay. But do you want me to read you the rules? Because... Oh, I yeah, swear, the if Satanist, it's those, the if those, those ridiculous three rules about no, 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 hot no, no, no. dogs, I'm going to be real. Okay, the very first rule is do not give opinions or advice unless asked. So mind your own okay. business. Yes, mind your own business. Don't go out there and put your voice on something, so which we're, we're kind of we're doing gonna, right now. So we're going to close the show down now. <laughs> Don't uh, give your opinion unless people ask. Maybe, you know what, by people watching it, they want to hear it. Mm-hmm. So if they didn't want to hear it and they don't want to know our opinions, don't watch the show. Ethical gray area, but go on. Okay. <laughs> So no, it's true. Like if nobody if nobody wants to hear what we have to say about our you know religious views or our favorite kind of gin or anything like that, then don't watch it. Like by watching it, they're giving us their permission to tell them our opinions. I'd be careful with that though, because unwritten consent is what they use in the law of the <laughs> land, and that's what it's telling people. Yeah, you have to pay taxes every day because you were born here. We got some <laughs> comments, Mike. All right, take us away. Uh, Tanner says most of his family is Mormon. Frank says he was baptized Mormon when he was eight. Uh, his parents are now <laughs> Christian and Catholic, and that he thinks religion is an evil joke. Yes, Frank. <laughs> uh, how's the drink? 
It's really good. It is good. I'm like, I'm oh, she's done shit. <laughs> Don't say it like I didn't that. Even know. Oh, I mean I need Satan. Oh, I'm sorry. I need Oh, sorry. Uh, I do that, actually. You guys are Whenever... losing some of your pussy juice. I don't right? say... You don't have to give me more of that if you don't want to. I have a thing of strawberry Perrier up there if you don't want to open that one. Mm. That's what we got it for for you guys, you know, yeah. to be on this particular segment. I don't know how it ties in with the... Power to women. Satan, but you know what? Power to women! Don't worry, Frankie, I'll buy another bottle I don't know if that, that can looks very women empowerment. Um... But it is delicious. It is really it good. It is really good. I was surprised, because I'm not... I'm not too into, like, the energy drinks. Unless it's like the organic rock star or what. Not because it's organic, but because it, it does taste better to me. Do you need this? So. Yeah. When you, on your way back over here, can you grab my jacket, please? Sure. Aaron's watching. Aaron's watching. Hi, Aaron. How's Aaron's your tattoo watching. going? Are you still tattooing right now? <coughs> like, I'm supposed to be able to reach that. No, I'm coughing. Sorry. I'm trying to... <laughs> Not He's like <laughs> ten feet away from me. Like here's your jacket. Well, use the power of Satanism, right? I Get know. it over there. There it is. Over. No. Use the force. Use the force, Luke. <laughs> All right. So we said rule number one. Okay. Rule number two, which I won't even lie, I do this a lot on Facebook. <laughs> do not tell your troubles to others unless you are sure they want to hear them. Okay. So don't go complaining no about your life you. unless somebody actually wants to hear about it. Mind your business and don't right. bitch. That's, that's not bad. I yeah. mean, I don't see that being a big deal, but that's. Yeah. Oh, well, that seems yeah. like a, yeah. something I mean, to follow, I would, I would ask consider. Ask for permission Thank you. before you vent. Yeah, pretty much. Like, it's like, yeah. I mean, that's a good way to put it, Lisa. Um, okay, so the third one, which, it's kind of like a vampire thing. <laughs> I didn't write them down, so I'm going to You didn't write them down? What? No, I didn't no get that for I told you uh, I was in a rush today. Um, when entering others' layers, show respect or don't go in. That's how it should be in everybody's house. Yes, yeah, that's but not, you know what? People don't go by that. That's in so many different religions, too. Like, um... Islam is one of them. Oh, where you, yeah. Um, yeah. You're supposed to show a lot of respect before going to someone's home. And if you compliment something, uh, a lot of, is it Hindu religion or is it in the Islam faith? Where if you compliment something in their home, they're trying to give it to you for the rest of that time. Okay. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a weird one to me. Like that Persian rug you got there on the floor. <laughs> please, it's please beautiful. Stay. Yeah, they will try to offer it to you. Oh, um, no. Madison's watching. She says that she's Mormon. And that there are guidelines to follow, but no one tells them they have to follow rules, and that there are guidelines to make us as Christ like as possible. Well, yeah, but by having guidelines, I mean. Guidelines having... are bad, huh? No, 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 are no. Guidelines? But yeah. she says, you know, no one's telling them they have to follow them. But in a lot of religions, if you don't follow it, they don't consider you a full extent of the religion. I'm okay like, with that, yeah. Same with like Satanism. Like, if you, if you do, you do. If you don't, you don't. Yeah, like, and if you... Do what you want, don't fucking matter. Pretty much, yeah. You do you, girl. <laughs> you do you. Mm. You do you, girl. <laughs> I can consider that, because I don't really follow much of the Catholic faith. I still like to go to church. I like the community. Um, I like how much community service we do as a group. Um, and I like some of the rules that, that kind of follow me, that kind of guide my decisions. Stop trying not to laugh. I'm sorry. What do you call it? Well, you're the one reading off your no, rules about I know, I know. You know what? And I think I don't necessarily agree with a lot of religions, but yeah. I think that they are good for a moral structure for when you're young. If it works for you, it works for you. Yeah, yeah if you take it to a certain point. Right. Anything and everything in moderation. Right. Because there's no religion out there that if you take it to the full extreme, you're not going to hurt someone. You right. have to take it to a certain point and then think for yourself. Yeah. Right. Okay, so continuing, so about layers. The fourth um, satanic rule is if a guest is in your lair, if a guest in your lair annoys you, treat them cruelly and without mercy. <laughs> because you disrespect them. Yeah, you disrespect me. Get the fuck out of my house yeah. and, you know, bye. Really quick, Angel just uh, just joined us. Hi, Angel. Hi, Angel. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, so, yes, <coughs> as you get more into, you know, the rules, it does get a little bit more gruesome, but it's not like it's not earned. Oh, what's the right? next one, though? The next one actually is the best rule of all. Oh, okay, I like and that. I want to see this. Not all, not oh, all yeah, things no. follow by this. Okay, rule number five: Do not make sexual advances unless given the mating signal. What is that sticking your butt in there and shaking so, it around? Mating signal, mating signal. The mating, the mating the signal is just the normal adult responses showing a person having sexual interest and consent. So basically, don't fucking rape people is what they're saying. Yeah, just, yeah we could cut it down to that, and that's no 100%. means no. Yeah, yeah but I, you know what? That, if, I mean, there's some religion out there that, you know, rape their women and yes, do crazy yes. shit. Yeah, so, I mean, 
We mm. obviously would not survive in some other country. No, we, we wouldn't. Would like, yeah, no, a lot of Bi- Bible's written by, by men. Men mm-hmm. get it wrong, oh, yeah. and then men read the same thing and interpret it the wrong way. Exactly. Yes, They can exactly. take yeah, the nicest thing in the world and make it horrible, mm-hmm. um, which is another problem I have with, with most religions, my own included, because people take a lot of those things and just turn into horrible, nasty things. Yeah. Um, I that think one that's seems why... like pretty straightforward. Right. Yeah. Don't hurt people. They, yeah. they do. They all make sense. They really do all make sense. I'm not going to say I agree with the layers <laughs> and the, the annoyance. Ones? You know, it's uh, just the way that he, he so calls cruel. them. Oh, no, I'd be like, you know what? i got to go make something in the kitchen. I'm going to go sharpen my knives. Uh, Tanner says that uh, <laughs> he was born, but there's plenty of reasons why he left the church. And then uh, Maddie says religion is made by man. It's a relationship with God that is important. Yeah. And Rachel would like a quick um, refresh of what this episode's about. You want to say t- church of Satan. Church of Satan. Bible. But we're kind of pulling in you know, views of others to kind of help compare and understand where this is kind of coming from. And so. It does, it does compare well with other religions. It does say a lot of good things about good people. And, um, ding, ding. It's not. Can I get yeah. some more pussy juice? Yeah, exactly. I oh. love that. <laughs> it, it's so wrong. I but love it's that. It's funny to say. Oh, no, here, it's okay. so funny. We can leave this over here. Uh-huh. Um, no, there's nothing in there so far that would lead to any kind of extreme behavior. Unless you just take it the wrong way, which so hard. No, there's, there's yeah, nothing in that I, situation. Yeah. And that's why I said that I wanted to, like, maybe if we could eventually, like, touch on what's the difference between where this is and where, and where other actual, people are, where people are, like, you what know. What they assume. That or the, what's being portrayed yeah. as Satanism. Like, oh, they're doing no sacrifices. There, You know, there's pedophiles involved. There's bestiality involved. Mm-hmm. Like, if that's not Satanism, who the hell are you people? There, there is a difference so, between um, the Satanic Bible and, and Satanism as all. Well as a actual religion, not an atheism, because there's a group during the 90s or 80s in um, Norwegian black metal who tried to follow yeah. North uh, Norse um, <laughs> mythology and bring about that devil, and that was very satanic in their group. That was their, their music mixed with their religion, and it led to a lot of people being murdered and churches burned. Wow. And it's not just so much that the church is burned, it's that those were hundreds, if not thousand year old buildings oh, wow. that they were destroying artwork of. <sighs> and firemen lost their lives fighting those fires. Oh my gosh. So that's a I would say that would be a point of taking it too far. Right. And that doesn't We're even looking really... at you when the camera's right here. I know. Uh, and Greg, that doesn't even <laughs> Greg Hernandez is watching. Hi Greg. Greg. Uh, Madison says uh, she wants a skull statue in the middle of the table to FedEx it to her. <laughs> Send me your information. Uh, Aaron says I really will. Well. <coughs> No, Maddie does not get it. I know I Maddie. Know, I don't know who Maddie is, but Maddie, sweetheart, you if you want it, message me. I will. I have. I actually have two of these. So. And Rachel says, uh, "Okay, then she has no religion. If there is a God, her saying then cool." <laughs> That's awesome. Mm-hmm. That no, that I respect that. No, Maddie, you get nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So rule number six, which is a pretty given one too, don't take anything that doesn't belong to you. I like that one. Don't steal. Thou okay. shalt not steal. Thou shalt not steal. Okay, so that does, that does, you know, be included in the other religions. Right. But, but, you know, there is some religions that... We're all taxes. No, that's, that's my libertarian. That's a political... I can go, we could go on this all day. Oh, like, like, you want to just have angry libertarians? Taxation without representation, sir. That's a whole nother How do we keep getting taxed after tax after tax? We just... Another show, another, another, show. another show. We'll get. We'll do another yeah, show around tax time. Tax time. <laughs> we'll do it at tax time. My mom does taxes, so I really don't want to hear about taxes. <laughs> I have to hear enough about it from her. I, I don't blame you then. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. Her job is difficult. Oh yeah, God. she hates it. Um, okay, so number eight. Do not complain. Oh no, number seven. Sorry, so number seven was big, so I had to write it on a different. Ooh, thing. okay. Okay, number seven. Acknowledge power of magic if you have employed it successfully to obtain your desires. If you deny the power of magic after calling onto it, you will lose what you obtained. So basically, like, if you are going to go into the magic side of it, don't turn your back on it later because everything that you did get is gone. You're done. Nah, that's very anti-chaos magic because once you get what you want, you're supposed to deny that completely. It's no longer a part of you. Yeah, so... You're a blank slate for the next time. Yeah, so this one, it's basically, like, if you are going to continue with magic, you need to stay with magic. Because, like, I, I gotta say, chaos magic, again, that just says whatever you believe in is in that moment for that ritual, for that spell, if you want to call it that. Mm-hmm. The next moment, whatever you believed in needs to be out of your head because you need to be malleable. You can't have any facts, any concrete ideals mm-hmm. um, at any one time, or else it doesn't work. Yeah. Unless you're, you're holding yourself back. That's um, true. And yeah, I, I, gotta, I gotta disagree with that one. 
Okay. That's the only one I think that I honestly like. No. I don't like well, it. there's still more. <laughs> How do you work the magic? Is it like spiritual? Are you calling on the dead or anything? Or? It's probably I I to <laughs> my, would I I haven't really researched it, but I would think it would probably be like some witchcraft in in the sense of you need to draw the energy from yourself because yeah. everybody has electrical currents. You have an electrical force. Everything does. So you pull that from yourself and you put that intent in what it is that you're asking for. And it kind of goes out to the universe, I guess, yeah, in a sense. And there was a comment way back about okay. alchemy. Does that also apply to this one? It applies to uh, witchcraft. Yeah, I don't know about Satanism. No, well, there's Satanism. more. There's a lot of science in Satanism. Mm -hmm. And but I would not so much of like the... Alchemy is more in witchcraft. I'm not sure about Satanism, but yeah. I know it is in witchcraft. Again, though, back to the, the chaos theory. If you want to use alchemy for something, use yes. it. Use it, yeah. And then the next time you don't need it, don't You're need done. it. Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, Joe Black says, hi, ladies. Hi. Uh, Rachel wants to know if you guys can let her know what you're drinking. We are drinking, tell her. Well, for one, we're drinking the theater. <laughs> Some pussy. <laughs> ah, shit, I just totally realized all did that. Did you do that on purpose? <laughs> you did. He's looking you at me. Did. Did. You dirty, uh, so dirty bird. This was actually provided <laughs> to us by the Vegas Legitimate, which was provided to him by the Hustler Entertainment in Deja Vu. It's an energy drink that is think pink, drink pink. And uh, Madison says she honestly believes that everyone has their own beliefs and free will to do whatever they want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that she just wish everyone respected each other and their own decisions. In See, life. and that's the thing with that's how I stand on it. Like, and same with the Satanism. If you um, if you are a true Satanist, you're not going to care what other people are. Like you, yeah, you may not agree with their views on it or anything like that, but one of the biggest things with the Satanism and why they got it put on the map as a church or whatever is because they wanted everybody to realize that there's more out there than what you're being forced to, like what you're forced growing up to. Like, like a lot of people are, f their religion is forced on them because of family, like being for pushed family down. Yeah. yeah, which I get it, you know, keep, bit, yeah. you know, the family, you know, keep it the way that they're going, but some people just don't want to go down that path, and some people feel like they're like, forced to and they have to because it's what their family believes or what their family is doing like I know somebody that's Catholic and they they're not Catholic they're not they and they feel so wrong going to church with their family every Sunday and going to the mass or whatever yeah they feel so bad going to all of these things because they themselves are not Catholic and they feel like they're wronging the church by being there that's your own deal. I'm not gonna lie. To you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, wrong. Answer. But you, you know get, what? A lot of it's like they want to make their friends. Yeah. 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 yeah, free cracker and grape juice. Yeah. Yeah. You're fine. It's no one's gonna be mad at you for being. <laughs> <laughs> no, and but it, you know what makes that hard is that a lot of religions say, no, 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 no. This is the right religion. Mm -hmm. Any other religion is wrong, and you need to <coughs> excommunicate yourself, or you need mm -hmm. to convert these other people who don't believe what you believe. Yeah. You need to do that in order to be a complete, you know, mm -hmm. participant in this religion. Like, that's how you're well, going to go. Like, Christianity. Christianity murdered so many people mm -hmm. just to convert them into their religion. But I think that's definitely an old There's way of thinking people. of it. Um, because nowadays, I mean, the church is pretty inclusive. I mean, Pope Francis, not Pope Francis, what's the one we have now? Pope Francis. Pope Francis? Yeah. The devil. See, you don't even know Pope that guy's the devil right there. I'm going to tell you right now. Uh -huh. well, he stopped the, um, um, What's the word I'm looking for? Um, the persecution of people getting abortions. He is letting homosexuality into the church. He has... Um, Which totally goes against uh, that religion. Mm -hmm. It all, like, woo, mm -hmm. no. Mm -hmm. Again, the church says that whatever the Pope holds true, God will hold true for us up in heaven. Okay, so, so how is he allowed to change what God that says is, is right and That's wrong. what I don't like about it. The fact that they have a leader, I don't feel like if they're, if they believe in God and God's leader, why do they have a leader? So why are we talking about Anton Malay? He's right? not he's technically. Like, I don't believe in Anton Malay. I don't, I don't, no, no, no. He like just what brought it to man. life. Like brought it to like out know. there. Because he's right. Like the way that he, the reason he even turned this way is because he would see like all of these very highly known Christian men out at at the carnival after the carnival at the, car at the burlesque shows you know completely going against their religion and that he thought they were hypocrites because then he would see them on church on sunday and yeah. you know doing all this stuff religiously views and so, they're being hypocritical so start a religion no he it wasn't that he started he, 
Hey, are you gonna get an argument now? He said, he he said I'm tired of watching these it. hypocrites. Hey, Let's lay it that. all out so we're all safe to do what the hell we want with no judgment. See, and that's what I like about it is that he And that's okay. Yeah. That's okay. That's why we live in fucking America. Because you can believe what you want to believe and you Not really you anymore. Believe. Not no. anymore, but we're trying yeah. to keep that. Yeah, if you don't so. stay PC, you can't believe in stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, okay. So rule number did I do number eight? Don't complain about anything. You did. No. No, no, no I didn't. So, okay. so rule number eight, do not complain about anything to which you need not subject yourself. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. So that one, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. Uh, Mitch Smith and Arulio Martinez joined us. Hi, Hi guys. Mitch and Arulio. Arulio. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> um, okay, rule number nine, which this one is such a huge rule, and this is where I, like, kind of bash Catholics. <laughs> do not harm children. Yeah, let's well, not get into that, but... You're, yeah, you're talking about less than 1% of 1% of the group that got turned into a media frenzy, just the way they turned Ebola, um, Syria, yeah. and other things, and then they want to attack one group. Do you it's guys a tell, Salem witch hunt right there. Are you going to tell the same thing finest. to the Jews during World War II? We'll talk about that. Uh, yes. Which, another group of people who are completely destroyed by religion. Just horrible Salem witch trials. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. That was ridiculous. Um, yeah, and that's, yeah, that's another good reason why there's schisms away from more... Um, a lot, of, a lot of those girls brought it on themselves, though. They did it out of boredom. Yeah, yeah. they did. They were being brought out. I don't know. I don't know if uh, lashing out and like um, being murdered is really <laughs> equates. Like, I feel like yeah, well, they, they like, did something wrong, but do you deserve murder? But see, for some that? of them it didn't do anything at all. Some of them they were just. It was like not forced on them, but the one person didn't want to take fault for it. Like, I don't know how mm. you guys view it all on there, but to me, I see it as you know. This one person was trying to basically bring everybody else down, <coughs> and because they were going to get fucked themselves. Mm. So by saying, you know, well, if I'm a witch, so and so's a witch, and so and so's a witch, Shift they're blaming, not going down by themselves. Blame shifting, and it also gives them a little bit more time to try to figure it out to get the fuck out of there. That's a good point, yeah. So like, and there's so many different like things brought on from the Salem witch trials, and so many different sides and views and you know it was the slave it was this person it was this person that did there really was a satan that they worshiped in the you know the woods like there's so many different yeah. views on it that that's another whole like five episodes right there yeah. if anything i think lisa's right they brought it on themselves no, I mean, well, no yeah, devil, a lot of them did no yeah. religious justification yeah. for hurting them um no there's no justification for hurting people like that at all no um yeah another reason why yeah sometimes religion is very dangerous yeah it can be so, okay, rule don't number drink 10. Don't yeah, don't. <laughs> <laughs> some pussy instead? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay. <laughs> so, rule number 10, which I don't agree with this rule, um, it is do not kill non human animals unless for food or attacked. So, basically, it's saying, like, when serial killers, you know, pick on animals on purpose just because it mm, fuels their. Torture. Yeah, it fuels, it fuels them. Mm-hmm. Exactly. It's saying don't do that. Me, myself, I don't eat animals, you know, so I feel like. Don't eat it for food or being well. Not, if you're being attacked, then yeah, that's yeah, thing. Right. If you're being attacked, that's a bad thing. But if you're killing them for food, I don't believe in that. No, I, I can agree with that one. I don't think any kind of sport that involves animals getting hurt makes any sense to me. No, um, I don't understand that either. It doesn't even seem entertaining because mm-hmm. I don't see two humans go at. It. <laughs> I'm just saying. But, um, yeah, uh, for food, for substance, I get it. For pleasure, that's ridiculous. Yeah, that's definitely. Good yeah, word. yeah. But I mean, if you think about it, uh, serial killers are so fucked up in the head that they they enjoy it you know but would you rather them kill a human or an animal or animal well, um I, mean, I love animals so sorry humans. sorry humans. they can kill well, an animal i'll eat that shit tomorrow <laughs> oh okay i guess I'll it take depends. some plank or some ribeye it depends like if there's serial killers that like who was it um the serial killers that killed bad people pretty much that killed the pedophiles dexter killed- well, no, was good. <laughs> yeah, sorry, that I is that so rare. There, there, there was one guy who went after, who did. I can't remember his name. Ooh, that I'd wasn't like the know. main person. That wasn't yeah. the main reason he did everything. But he act, he did go towards those type of people. Yeah. Fuck, I want to know who it is now. If anybody knows what I'm talking about, comment below. It's not Dexter. Yeah, but I'd like to know. <laughs> no, it's not Dexter. I was being a jerk. <laughs> no, but no, I'd like to know too. Because that there is that's somebody that I can't remember. There, but they went after people that like. Uh, it was, even if it was like minor things like they robbed or stuff like that. They That's kind of ridiculous. Bad people. But still, you know, rather than kill the soft little cute animals. <laughs> like, those animals shit, not all animals are soft. Those do anything. That, that rabbit probably maybe pooped on someone's lawn. You might have cho- chewed up a cord <laughs> or something. 
Have you ever heard a rabbit growl? <laughs> rabbits are freaky. <laughs> rabbits will bite. Yeah. They will. Oh. I've been bitten. I've had rabbits. I used Those to raise rabbits. Oh, uh, really? They will destroy your arms. Oh. They're worse yeah. than cats. They are, because they'll like get their back feet going. They're like, <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> You're not going to like this, but they're delicious. Rachel, Austin Fetha. Rachel <laughs> wants to know if uh, Satanists um, do sacrifices and worship no. the devil. Mm-mm. No, that is witchcraft. That is not Satanism. Satanism is not about the devil. They don't believe Watch in our the Saturday devil. show. Yes, watch Saturday because they'll and you'll know all about it. Or when this live feed is done, go back. So you need to like, subscribe, and get the notifications on your yes. phone for when we air. Yes. Even if you go further back, I think to um, the Alistair beginning. Crowley. Oh yeah. Uh, he didn't. He didn't sacrifice anyone. Yeah, he did some really messed up things oh, yeah. to people. Oh, yeah. I never really got to look in on him. I oh, saw a lot. I then. saw a lot, but I didn't get into it because I was mm-hmm. trying to get on this Anton LaVey stuff. We need to, then. It will blow your mind because he was a deviant, mm-hmm. but kind of in it makes sense way. Intriguing. like It's like, I kind of agree with you, but stop, yes, doing, it's stop like, doing that to that 15 like, boy. Fuck, you did such bad things, but you make a point. like. No, no, he was just all about himself, um, which yeah. to a point is a bad thing, but at the same time, Libertarian, he says. <laughs> yeah. Ricky looks up. Go He's get like, yours if you don't hurt. Like him. I know that sound. <laughs> Do you need the bottle this time, Frankie? Yeah. Oh. All right. The last. I promise rule. I'll bring another oh. one next week. <laughs> I need the last can. The last Uh-oh. rule. No, you don't have to give me that. You can give me the um the other one if you want. Don't use all your. We don't. Drink. I don't drink it. Fingertips I don't know electric. if you want one or not. <laughs> so the last rule of Satanism is when walking in open territory, bother no one. If someone bothers you, ask him to stop. If he doesn't stop, destroy him. That's literally how it's destroy written. Destroy him! Uh, kind of, uh, that kind of goes against protests, and I think peaceful protests are a good thing, but, you know. Yeah, 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 but yeah. I, I totally agree. You know, if you tell somebody to fuck off and they don't fuck off, Later. Well, then you're asking for push, it. Push like, him out of your way. Yeah, yeah. It. It's over. You're asking for it. So that's not a bad rule. That's no, all. no. And my the thing is, like, some of the satanic rules are actually like legitimate. They make like, sense. They, they're actual rules that people should live by. I, I think you might actually enjoy another set of rules a little better than those. Even. Look up discordium or discordia, discordianism. Uh, the four rules of discordianism. Um, if I can, if I can remember them. Thank you, Frankie. I love your face. Um, <laughs> What do you call Thank it? You too, Although there is some meat eating involved, so that's going to be difficult. Okay, no, I can't do that. But, I can do that um, for her. Oh wow! Wait, finish. There is. Yeah, the funny comment by this is the beef eater gin vegan. <laughs> it actually is. Oh yeah. Most gin is vegan. The most uh, the most alcohol that isn't hi by the way Justin um, the most <laughs> alcohol that actually isn't vegan is a lot of wines and stuff because they have gelatin in them. And gelatin is not considered vegan. Gelatin? Mm-hmm. You mean Same like with vinegar? Like, like Sour Patch it, kids and shit No, like Sour Patch kids are actually vegan. Are they really? They are. Oh. They're one of the, the main vegan candies out there. I, I don't... I don't think it's gelatin, gelatin. More like enzymes. Well, there is yeah. gelatin in a lot of, in a lot of them. I, I don't and that think that's going to be a higher-end wine that has gelatin in it. Probably not higher-end, but probably like my cheap ass. Boxed. Cheap ass wine. Boxed wine. There is something that looks gelatin in them called the mother. Um, which they can break off to make more wine, and it's also the same thing I think they do with uh, vinegar. Hmm. Um, and that like is bits of yeast cultures. Yeah, yeah. It, it, yeah, but it is technically a creature, I guess, if you want to go that route. Well, I, alive, right? I go like full, full on into it. So like even like the Jack Daniels honey Tennessee one, I won't have that because there's actual honey in it. You know, that's all they do, right? Is make honey. That's all they want to do in life. Yeah, but we take it from them and we force them. And then they make more. But without <laughs> bees, not, so it's much not a shit would. Of the bee, it's. From the flowers. It is a creation. Yeah. Of, How vegan yeah. are you? Are you not? Vegetarian. You're vegetarian. Oh, Aaron, you're wrong. She's not vegan. My sister does do vegan. the better bowls. That's what bowls. I he was, That's what Aaron tagged me in because I never heard of that before. Yeah, um, they're really good. Are they? That's what I saw. But I saw dressing on there, so I was like, is this even vegan? Another the but, nuts. Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, no, I saw I love that. Like chickpeas but chickpeas in the picture. So I'm chickpeas, chickpeas, yeah. I do. Love I love chickpeas. Yeah, okay. I know. I I'm very happy that Aaron tagged me in that because I'm very excited. But I won't be here this week. Side note off of, and now the food content. <laughs> can we make your sister a commercial? Ooh, yeah, she'll love that. Can she provide yeah. me with the bowl? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, think, yeah I, think, I think that'd be like perfect. You can get. Bring me a bowl and I'd be like, vegan food. That's yeah, a good we goal. do all of our prep tonight. Um, if if uh, she makes a little bit more, we're going to definitely have some more on the show. That'd be awesome. Um, or for a commercial, everyone can have one. I'm cool with that. Yeah. So Honestly, like I'm not gonna stop eating meat, but I think it's cool to try other. Well, yeah, and that's what I like. I like taking people that are not vegan to vegan places, like especially when I'm in LA because there's tons of vegan 
Oh, yeah. Have you been to Jasmine Pie yet? Um, no. It's really Their good. pineapple curry tofu <laughs> freaking bowl is amazing. That one is really good. I, I love it. Because, you know, even though I eat meat, I don't eat meat all the time. Mm -hmm. Because I just don't like it all the time. I am I, more of a veggie person, and I do love tofu. Uh, Aaron, you just have to cook it right. Aaron brings up a good point here, ladies. He says, uh... Stop talking vegan. Shut up, Aaron. Shut up, Aaron. Tofu, oh. tofu, 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 soybeans. I'm also going, you Stop. know what? We've gone on a tangent. <laughs> All right, back to saying as a... <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's a better topic. Don't hurt babies. Sorry. Mind your fucking business. Don't respect me. Don't disrespect me in my home. <laughs> don't, yeah. don't disrespect meat. I was like, no. That's totally okay. Pleasant. You know what's disrespecting meat? Burton the shit out of it. That's what's disrespecting <laughs> meat. I'm going to say everything. I like to be charred on my steak. A char, not don't burn don't it. Burn. It's all dry. Fair enough. Dry tub, that's disrespect right there to the highest power. <laughs> oh, F. Tanner, if you're still watching, this is Joe, by the way, if you didn't catch it last time, he challenged you to a uh, cook off. To a cook off? Oh, oh shit! Yeah. Sweetheart! Yep. I was like, I don't know if you're going to win that one, Tanner. I can't wait. Uh, I really would like you guys to know that uh, trees have feelings as, as well. You know what? It's Shut true. up. And that, uh, I'm just kidding. Aaron says vegan is the new religion. Yes! <laughs> so you like religion now, huh? No! Oh, no! Fucking hey! God damn it, Aaron. Uh, have you ever heard of fractals? Which is basically the idea that everything is just a pattern of itself getting smaller to giant. Like our minds are a fractal of the universe. If you look at them a little further away, they look the same. Hmm. Um, that the root system of a plant is kind of like the blood system of some of our delicious animals. Yes. So in a way, trees are still living... Organism. They are, everything is a living, everything yeah. is alive, or everything yeah. was once alive. And I'm yeah, not saying, yeah. and I'm not saying that like, oh, you don't need meat, but you need vegetables. No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. Everything is alive. Like, I love gardening, I love doing like my own vegetable garden and all that other shit, and you have to talk to them and treat them like they are and alive because, them down and then I cut the shit out of them, make some fucking marinara <laughs> sauce, and then she's like, nom, nom, nom. You slowly roast them with a little bit of garlic. Some and olive some extra oil. virgin olive oil. It's delicious. Tanner would like to know that he uses a special power Missouri sweet and spicy sauce to make a smoked brisket. Oh my god. Dude, you said brisket. Challenge. My brain just went. Bleh, 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 bleh. <laughs> brisket and ribeye are my favorite cuts of meat. Jackfruit is my favorite. You're not originally from around here, right? <laughs> no. From, I'm, I'm originally from the San Francisco Bay Area. Yeah. So then you're still in the, the tri tip region of the U.S. Yeah, but I lived but in Santa Maria for a while and I lived in Napoma. <coughs> and in Santa Maria, Napoma. they do. Linguisa, which is a por I'm half Portuguese, so it's like Portuguese sausage. I love linguisa. It's so rich, and you get indigestion so bad. It's so worth it. So, and it's like, I'm just warning you now. I'm just like, I'm getting hot just thinking about it. <laughs> but, Damn it, food talk. No. Yeah, okay, no okay, food talk. We'll have a food episode one day. That's, food is my religion. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> All right. So, one thing that I do actually love about Satanism, which you somebody mentioned um, that the Catholics are starting to do it now or whatever. But okay. um, uh, Satanism, Satanists support gay marriage and transgenders completely. Hmm. Um, they even have a thing to where, like, because when you join, when you join the Satanic Church, you actually do, like, send in here, like, send in a picture of your ID or whatever, and you get, like, this card or whatever um, that says that you're a member of the Church of Satan. We should get one and, just to uh, get one. I, it's like, I think it's, like, a hundred bucks to get that card. Like, I can do it. It's fine. Um, <laughs> I, I know. I'm cool That's with it, too. That's the nerdiest uh, card I've ever heard of my We life. should get That's a board of all the shit we collect. And yeah. Get there, like, That's we'll get a Charlie, Charlie Manson freaking autograph photo, and we'll put it up there, <laughs> and we'll get, like, our satanic cards and put them up there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to enroll you guys in UFO, then, What's to it? get you guys a UFO investigation pass. Yeah! Um, My aunt used to have a little, like, ID, a fake ID that has, like, her name on it, but has an alien picture on it. Because when she went to where is it, Roswell, oh yeah, she went to Roswell. I, th I think that's where she went. and That's where she got. It. I think that's so cool. Um, we need to have a UFO episode too. <laughs> that oh, would be fun. So, so, so comments that he loves him some good sausage. Ew. He does love him some good sausage. What kind of sausage? Exactly Wait, what you're thinking theater? and what I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so going on with you know the whole the gay and um, transgender part of it, sex. I feel like sex is a big is a big part of that, and uh, <laughs> it's a big part of a lot of religions. That, that is actually in different ways. Yeah. Different. Well, and then, okay, here's one difference uh, with the satanic. Is it the Catholics that don't believe in masturbation? Right. Uh, no, actually, it's not really frowned upon. It's uh, still impure thoughts. Like there should be no okay. lusting after someone else's wife. Yeah. Well, um, there should be no wanting to hurt people in your thoughts. Um, is but masturbation still, isn't a sin. 
Is it, which is weird to me because I didn't want to talk about. I always thought it was. I thought it. No. Yeah, I thought it was too, and I thought you couldn't do more than like the missionary position because you're only supposed to have sex to like procreate. No, no that's more. No, that's like waiters. Mormons. No. Okay, well I knew there was a religion out there that that's There's like too that. much stuff going around. And There's forty six thousand <laughs> sects of Christianity. So, yeah. It's wow. Bad. It's way too many. Yeah. So like my favorite note that I had to make. <laughs> Masturbation yeah. is normal. Any consensual activity is endorsed by Satanism. So if you are consenting to being tied up, if you are consenting to being... No. I don't want to get... If you are consenting to being treated like you're actually you know, a slave, but you're not... Um, That's up to you. Actually, That's your prerogative. He, he was like full on for erotica, BDMS, uh, all that stuff. And yes. Consenting and, adults, and, yeah. If you guys want to sit there and braid each other's hair, you're both consenting. Go for that, too. Exactly. Like, it's all about consent. They didn't care what you did as long as you consented to everything. Makes sense. Yeah. Um, Tanner says that he has his fake monster hunter license. Nice. Okay, send it to oh. us. <laughs> Don't, Take us on a journey, sir. <laughs> we need to go on a haunted journey soon. Sabra Del Taco and Heather Gonzalez is watching Hey guys. Sabra Del Taco, I'm hungry now. Oh my god, Sabra, I've never pronounced your last name, and that's exactly what it is, isn't it? How Where are you seeing this? that? Oh, it, it pops up on this one because this is the live stream. Um, oh, because you guys are ahead of us a little bit. Yeah, this is the episode, behind. basically, and you, yeah, you guys are getting the delay a little bit. Well, and then I realized like if you're not friends with somebody, it doesn't tell you that they're watching. It will tell me, yeah. It'll tell you guys, I'm friends, but it won't tell. Okay. Everyone, yeah. yeah, so sometimes, like, I was like, you were watching the show, I was like, I didn't see your name pop up. Because we actually do sit here and, like, have it. Yeah, we, we try to have it on We here. try to keep up, too, so we don't always have to rely on them to tell us what some of the stuff That's is. That's why I can say to you guys if you're talking shit. But Mothman, though, I have not heard of Mothman since I was, like, in high school. What's Mothman? We okay over there, guys? Is the Mothman problem? Okay over there? Yeah, basically the Mothman shows up. Um, before extreme disasters. The first one recorded was a bridge collapse in Virginia, mm -hmm. or Pennsylvania, I believe. One of the two, I'm sorry. And someone saw this giant, ominous flying creature that dubbed the Mothman fly away um, right before and after the event happened. Like, he landed, it happened, he left. Hmm. Um, the same day, people claim there's a picture around 9-11 um, of the same creature returning and a lot of other events. Um, but it's, again, like a Bigfoot or Chupacabra or any of those kind of sightings. Chupacabra. It's, it's very much mass hysteria, I think. Yeah. Um, but again, then there are pockets of stuff. I have no idea how it works. So it could be something completely supernatural that I'm just not um, fully aware of. Hmm. Okay. But yeah, in my honest opinion, I think it's a mass hysteria kind of thing. Hmm. Okay. Justin said there was a movie made of it and it was pretty cool. And Tanner says that he still remembers those red eyes. Every oh, I remember you were telling us about that. <laughs> Sorry. <It> freaked me <laughs> All right, so have any, have any of you guys read this at all or read excerpts of it or anything? No, there's some pretty basic, um, like, common sense stuff in there. There's some really yeah. smart things. So, okay, so this was made in 1969, I think, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 1969. You can't, you can't have a Bible old enough for my grandma yeah, no, he, say, yeah, he, that's not true. <laughs> um, so it's actually pretty interesting, actually. Like, I didn't realize this. I didn't ever look at the first page. Shame on me. I always just kind of went straight to the actual. Oh, you know, did, yeah, what is it called? An excerpt or whatever? Yeah, so he actually signed the top of it. And um, so Anton LaVey was called the Black Pope by many of his followers. Um, that's racist. <laughs> that's why I laughed about when I first heard it. I was like, I, and honestly, when I first heard about the Black Pope, I actually thought he was black. Uh, until I saw a picture of him, he's a white, bald dude. Um, so it actually has an x-ray, or his little quote-unquote, of where he's actually talked about on Saturday night, I would see men lusting after half-naked dancing girls at the carnival. And on Sunday morning, when I was playing the organ for a tent show evangelist at the other end of the carnival lot, I would see these same men sitting with their wives and children asking God to forgive them and purge them of their desires. And the next Saturday night, they'd be back at the carnival or some other place of indulgence. But also, what does that say about the church? They had to have known that he was down there being the, the house organist for the burlesque mm -hmm. or the carnival or you know the sideshow which was not looked highly upon by a church at the yeah. time so i wonder how much I, they had to have known word spread so much at that time like the towns were a lot smaller people gossiped a lot more so i mean what does it say about that church if he was there playing their organ and 
was down at the Boas place later on. I'm like, uh, oh, hey, a job's a job. Full circle, maybe, man. Maybe he's the one who a job's play a job. It. Maybe. And they're just like, <sighs> he wasn't the one lusting after them. He was just playing Oregon. He's playing around. Yeah, Don't start bashing him. No, no, no. I'm not thing. bashing him. I'm, not, I'm saying that about whole, the church. Yeah. That whole speech, right? that whole spiel is him judging them. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, maybe they're hypocritical, but that's him passing judgment on someone else. That defies his own rules right then and there. And he doesn't say anything about not judging people. He, said, yeah, he pretty much yeah, is. He's saying he's judging those no, men. First, yeah. No, the but he... Thing, he said, don't judge others' beliefs. He didn't he say just, that. The first, the, what's the first uh, rule The again? first rule is to not tell people, like... You're no, wrong. but he... Do not give your opinion unless yeah. asked. So, right. I mean... Kind of, yeah, I feel yeah, like that kind of okay. ties together. Okay, a little bit. Uh, yeah. Sabra says that she's watching with her little one and that her little girl likes the cage with the bird in oh, it. Oh, <laughs> Can you look that up a little bit? Well, hopefully we're not being too inappropriate here. <laughs> uh, Tavo and uh, Kelsey have joined. Hey, Tavo. Hey, Kelsey. Hey. So you got to love Halloween stuff. That's when I do all my house decorating shopping. Mm, okay. Rula says <laughs> that he was playing with his organ. Bitch. <laughs> So guys I think as an organist back in the day for a oh, carnival you slash church, the you kind of have to play with your own organ for a while. I don't think like he was. Uh, oh, it changes colors. <laughs> I didn't even know that. I have a skull with a cat on it, and it has little LED lights that like change color. It scares oh, the crap cool. out of my cat. It's hilarious. That is cool. That That's night cool. that I dressed up as the cat for here, I came out of the restroom and I was like, "Do I look okay?" And my boyfriend's like holding the cat, and the cat looks up, and he's like freaking the hell out, and like hissing and clawing. I was like, "That's pretty it's cool." Like, no, no, cat. <laughs> okay, somebody look up how to pronounce the Walpurginach. Excuse you? It's, oh, Walpurginach, of course. Do you know? <laughs> I have no idea what that is. Okay, so the, he officially founded the Church of Satan on April thirtieth, nineteen sixty-six. Cool. And that falls on. Wall personage, some kind of festival. Pagan holiday. Pagan holiday. Yeah, it falls on, <laughs> it falls oh on um, the most important festival of buzz. believers in witchcraft. So um, he had shaved his head and in tradition of the ancient executioners and announced the formation of the Church of Satan. He had seen the need for the church would recapture man's body and his carnival desires as... Do you have another one? Oh my god, you do. <laughs> We don't like to waste little Jim first and then we'll show up I didn't want to leave a little bit in there either. I was like sacrilegious, man. You can't leave that shit in there. Like waste, waste not, it. want not. Aye, aye. <laughs> Very true. Um, he Sorry, actually does have other books, too. Mm -hmm. oh, no, he has a book really called... He has, he has albums. Book. Yeah, he, he did all kinds of stuff. Disney music. Um, oh, Why are all the crazy people, like, music, musically musician. inclined? Oh shit, I shouldn't it's say that. I can play a bunch of instruments. Ah. <laughs> it's a good mental release, I think. And, yeah. Uh, it's okay, I, I can sing and, and, and play instruments. So we're crazy. <laughs> we already knew we were crazy, though. We never said That's we were. That's why we're here. Um, why is my Facebook crashing? Um, Tanner says that he's in, what was that? Did it say? He's going to go to Virginia and faces, faces fears and battle with the Mothman. So he will send us a video of that if he gets yeah, to do it. Yeah, please. Sir, please do send us that and video. And Justin uh, reminds us here, uh, never, never waste, waste booze. booze. Yes, Justin. Because there are sober children in Africa. And I like the way you think, sir. Was Very considerate. Kids. He's a bartender. <laughs> oh, is he really? understand. <laughs> That's beautiful, man. Yeah. We need to open up like an orphanage slash bar Raise money for the help. Yeah, after hours they can clean the bar to kind of, you know. Make a little extra cash. Or, you know, their keep, you know, because... Oh, Orphans yeah. are free, and God. nobody wants me. <laughs> they can get money, too. Dude! They're allowed. <laughs> hey, think of yourself first, people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the nine <laughs> satanic <laughs> statements, <clears throat> which it's kind of cool. So everybody likes to think that the upside-down cross is satanic, but it's not. It's just it has nothing a symbol. to do with satan satanism. In fact, it has to do with the fact that, who was it, uh, not my one, of the one, of the, one of them didn't feel like he was worthy enough to have to be because he was going to be hung on the cross like Jesus yeah, Christ yeah. yeah and he didn't feel like he was worthy enough to have it facing the same direction as Jesus Christ himself so it we had them just flip an, it it was actually just an X put over what? it wasn't flipped over all oh way. okay well whatever yeah. Anyways, Anyways, a lot of people think that it's just, it's anyways, just like this. everybody yeah. thinks that you turn a cross upside down and <laughs> it's satanic like it's not it's not it's the actual satanic symbol them. looks like that and it's not even a, a right side up pentagram like a star. No, it's an upside from down. No, no, but I mean, oh, like, yeah, yeah. But the, the other one is the, the upside down for Baphomet. Mm -hmm. 
which is a goat head. It's a goat and head. It's a symbol it's, of it's like a devil. Satanism. Well, it's a symbol of flying the the Hebrew term um, <laughs> opposition, the accuser. No, it's a demon. No. Yeah. It exactly goes into the whole religion. Oh, they no. don't believe in demons. Oh, no, he totally believes in demons. Oh, my God. No, um, no. 100% I believe you. Like, he doesn't believe in that. Yeah. Um, that symbol, he can just use it for himself as a sigil. A sigil in magic terms is just anything you want to use to represent your goal. And then you, I guess, charge the sigil. It's well, very complicated, but it doesn't need to mean something demonic. Just no. because it's incorporated with the Church of Satan, it just means that that's a symbol to use. It is, and it's just, it's a model of the primal nature of man. Hmm. And that how it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be repressed by how Catholicism and Christianity is saying that like mm -hmm. everything you think and do is pretty much a sin don't do it do nothing be pure where Satanism says if you feel like doing that then that's natural how you're feeling so do it if it makes you feel good as long as yeah. you're not hurting anybody or anything in the process uh, Lawrence here says hi girls nice to see you again hi hi uh, I was wondering what your thoughts are on using Ouija boards have you ever had a creepy experience using them and you actually believe that people can bring did you demons and evil spirits to the process? I really did. You join us when we did our Ouija board thing a couple weeks ago. Yes, yeah, that's a good question. Because, did you? because we did actually. That was our very first time even touching one or using one. We haven't touched one since. I've actually been thinking about doing a documentary in my house, like a small. Oh one. God! My boyfriend and I are very, very much, you know. Convinced oh. to the max that it is haunted. I, I am still looking my for a new house, house now because she won't be here much longer. My house is almost a hundred years old, and there has oh. been a lot of very, like, holy crap, that should not have happened in any way, shape, or form. That I'm has a, happened. I'm a hundred percent down to help you film. Like, there's nobody know. around outside the house. Okay. <laughs> You're like, like, I'm gonna set up the camera. Like blue. Oh, okay. No, like I'm washing my face, and I just have the light from another room on because I don't need a lot. I'm just washing my face. I don't need to see anything. And all of a sudden, the light comes on in the room, and nobody is around to turn that light on. That's not funny. No. And, like, uh, on Halloween, uh, my best friend, my brother, and my boyfriend thought I was in the living room coughing, like, really hard to the point where they were going to come check on me. No, and I just I just so happened to walk back in, and they're like, are you okay? And I was like, what are you talking about? And they're like, weren't you just, like, basically choking in the living room? I was like, no. Oh I was gosh. out in the front. Like, a lot of weird stuff has happened. We've only lived in this house two months. All right. I, there's I, been a I, lot. I retract my state. I'm going like, to lend you my cameras. <laughs> and, uh, just let me know when you're done. You're gonna, she's going to bring it back and they're going to be haunted. Haunted cameras. Great movie title. A uh, uh, couple things here, ladies. Uh, Josh heard that the idea of an upside-down cross was to focus on the earth and not have your, quote, head in the clouds. Hmm. Um, nice. Justin says, Paranormal Activity Part 9. <laughs> I... I, hate drug the bed. <laughs> I like haunted camera. Uh, thank you. I, that. I like yeah. that. Yeah. You yeah, have haunted tape. camera. All right, let's read these nine satanic statements. Yes, ma'am. So the first one: Satan represents indulgence instead of abstinence. Isn't that not very conserving to the plant, though? It's pretty bad. <laughs> um, let's see. Satan represents vital existence instead of spiritual pipe dreams. Satan represents un. <laughs> I feel Shut dumb. Up. I can't read this. What is that? It's my strawberry. Oh. Like he heard me slurping and Kenny. He's, He's like, like, you make your own damn drink. <laughs> I know. You can read number one. three because I can't read that. <laughs> number three says Satan represents undefiled wisdom <laughs> instead of hypocritical self deceit. I have that word oh, tattooed so, on me. So just you, uh, you can't defile yourself. Anything you do that you want to do is okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh, there's like a whole... <laughs> Would you like some more? You want some of this? I just opened it. I haven't drank what it. What is it? Though. Strawberry Perrier. You make this strawberry bubbly water. Because mm -hmm. that's the only way I'll drink water. I freaking hate water. Really? Yep. I hate water. I will only drink it in Perrier form. Oh. Um, water can have bacteria. Or that's why you drink it with alcohol in it. Bartender. <laughs> Shay, you don't want to have them how I make them. Um, Aurelio says the restaurant that he goes to a lot is haunted. Ooh. Or hunted. Ask which one? Yes, yeah, which, which one? one? I go to a lot of restaurants you go to. Tell me it's not cronies. Oh, <laughs> is cron it here in town? No, cronies, cronies, cronies is haunted. There's a video of a chair moving while a bunch of people were there oh, in the restaurant. Oh. It basically just like rocks back and forth twice on four legs, so it has to pick itself up a little uh -huh. bit. And then people stare at it. 
fuck. See, my boyfriend sits there and goes, how do you not get freaked out when stuff like that happens? I'm like, I've been seeing it my whole life. <laughs> you can't be scared of something you're used to. That's true. Okay. Says there's Let's get through legend. these before we're done. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Um... Satan represents kindness to those who deserve it instead of love wasted on ingrates. Ooh, ingrates? I like that one. Ingrates. ingrates. Don't ingrates. be ingrateful. Don't be an ingrate. Jerks, no. Satan represents vengeance instead of turning the other cheek. Because they say that, you know, you've got two cheeks, so if you get smacked twice, you run out of cheeks. I got two more cheeks. <laughs> Touche, sir. Touche. My goal in life is not to infringe upon anyone else's rights. So, uh, I think that's a little, that's a little okay with me. Yeah. Satan represents responsibility to the responsible instead of concern for the psychic vampires. <laughs> a psychic vampire is somebody help that those feeds who off help themselves and don't help the lazy. Well, technically, like psychic vampires do are kind of helping them, and that's another thing we can get into. But they like suck the energy out of you, so they're helping mm. themselves. I mean, if they're even real. You know? <laughs> Satan represents man as just another animal, sometimes better more often worse than those that walk on all fours who, because of this divine, spiritual, and intellectual development, has become the most vicious animal of all. True, but I, yes. uh, I promised myself I've never sniffed a baby diaper on the sun <laughs> like I've seen my dogs do. Yeah. Um, so I think, yeah, I think that we're still the number one animal. <laughs> we're number one. Satan. We're number one. We're number one. Satan represents all of the so-called sins as they all lead to physical, mental, emotional gratification. Indulgence is the highest priority. Self-indulgence. Uh, some of those sins are like, don't molest and don't kill. No and molest. Those aren't, uh, yeah. No me gusta molest. Don't kill people. And then the last one for the satanic statements is, Satan has been the best friend the church has ever had, as he has kept it in business all these years. But Satan isn't a really, really a thing, though. It's, it's, it's the a, way that they, I mean, like, they even say, hail Satan, but they don't mean it as... But you like a demonic real, Satan. Though, so I don't know. They don't say it as like a demonic Satan. You know what though? That's the thing though. All religion contradicts itself. And it's all true. hypocritical to an it extent. Is so, true. so that's a really good religion you got right there then. Good job. <laughs> you follow me. We the call main people off for that. <laughs> Hey, I'm just sitting you here like, I like this drink right now. <laughs> if you have not read this, I do recommend, you know, getting it. I personally enjoy reading about other religions, even if I don't follow it, because then I can kind of get other people's understanding on things. Exactly. Um, so definitely read it. Don't let it freak you out about it. I think there's an online version you can read of it. Um, but definitely read it. It was only like 15 bucks. Hop on Audible. Use our uh, Amazon yes. link. Yeah, right? yeah. If you use our Amazon link that's on our page, um, you will help us out by providing us with more alcohol. <laughs> um, so I don't have to feel so bad buying it like every couple of weeks. Yeah. But, but, <laughs> sorry, Frankie. Anyways, guys, Love thank you. you for joining us. Don't forget to watch our um, video posted on Saturdays on the Lost Nest YouTube channel. And every Thursday, about 8.30-ish. We've been good starting on time lately. Yeah, we're going to so move a little proud early, of though, because of that noise complaint. We're going to try to Oh, yeah, we got a noise complaint last time. Thanks, Aaron. Yeah. It was all Aaron's fault. Yes, we are going to try to move a little bit earlier, um, probably 8, 7.30-ish. 7, 7.30, yeah. because we are getting noise complaints, because we're a little loud and fun, and some people just can't fucking hate me. Nobody likes shit. fun people. So. But, all right, guys, thank you for watching. I'm Amanda Nicole. And I'm Joe. And we'll see you later.